Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, we have a Costco haul. Some of this stuff will be for camping, um, but most of it will be for the house. So we have our normal cucumbers and bell peppers for snacks and meals, a rotisserie chicken. They actually did not have tortilla wraps this time or else we would have picked up a couple as well. We do have, I believe, one left in the freezer and a couple left in the fridge that we can pull out to make quesadillas with this. Um, we have some hamburger buns, four dozen eggs, Havarti cheese, Kirkland ham, and the cheese and the ham will be used with these buns. We have four dozen buns, and we will make um, sandwiches with them for my husband's lunch. And also, we will make up a bunch for camping and freeze them and then throw them in coolers and have them for quick lunches or snacks while we are gone. Then we have three loaves of bread there, some pepperettes, which they opened up and started eating in the car already. We have some jam, honey, and maple syrup. These are all for breakfast. We have a block of cheese, just uh, marble, 2% milk. The kids love the sweet and spicy mix um, with their lunches and they just polished the last one off, so we picked this up. Cream cheese for bagels. Egg whites. Taquitos, these were not on the list, but my husband likes to buy them once in a while, so he grabbed those. We have extra burgers for camping. We still have about half a box left in our freezer. Some mini pizzas. A case of water a thing of toilet paper and then a box of these chips which we took these camping with us last year this year I don't think we'll bring the whole box but um, it was nice to have these on hand just little snacks and treats for the kids or for um, snacks at the end of the night Okay, so it is the next day and we went to No Frills and got a bunch of stuff for camping and then a few more household items. I'm gonna start over here for our mixed drinks when we go camping. We just got this bag of ice. I also got a case of water, which I'm not seeing it here. It must be already in the garage, but I'm going to freeze a bunch of bottles of water and use those as our ice packs and then as they defrost we'll drink from them as well. One of the meals that we will be having when we go camping will be quesadillas. So I grabbed some wraps and my plan was to just grate some cheese and throw it in a bag before we go but these were on sale so this bag was like three dollars I think it was. So I just decided to grab that so it's one less thing I have to do. Then with our breakfasts in the morning, we will have bacon, eggs, and potatoes. So what I plan to do is to boil these before we go and to have these sliced up and then we'll just fry them up in the morning just to crisp them and eat them with our breakfast. So that's what these and the onions are for. Then we have some hot dogs and hot dog buns for in the evenings, kind of like an evening snack before the kids go to bed. Then we have some juice boxes for the kids. I am just going to throw those in the freezer and then pull them out in the morning and then the, it should be defrosted enough by the afternoon and they can have that. Okay, so this sounded good. It is potato and egg salad. So we will have that as a side with our dinner when we have burgers. I bought two bags of marshmallows. We likely will only go through one, but we will be sharing with the family that we are going camping with. Um, but we are going camping more than once this summer. So I grabbed two bags and if we have some left over, then we'll just use them for the next camping trip. And what I like to do for s'mores is buy these cookies and they have the chocolate already on them and then we just roast the marshmallow and sandwich them between these cookies. So I have two boxes of milk chocolate and then one box of dark chocolate. This is the one that I prefer to have. 
Then if I am sitting around a campfire, I love to have um, dill pickle spits and my kids do too. So I grabbed a bag of that. I just kind of put the chips together. These are not for camping. Um, they are for the kids picked out their dessert. And so Lily picked out zesty Doritos. Ethan picked out Cheeto Bear or Cheeto Paws. So for their lunches, um, sometimes I like to have um, crackers or some sort of like chips for the side. And they picked out crispy minis, salt and vinegar, and then this is one of their favorites, Zesty Ranch Veggie Straws. Then for the grown-ups, we have some sweet chili heat, salt and vinegar, and bold barbecue. We needed more mustard, so I picked that up. This is for the Doritos. Back here, I only buy these when they are on sale and they were $4 off, I think. And so I got two boxes of um, pork back ribs. This one is just in a normal barbecue sauce. And then back there is honey garlic. We have some apples and bananas and grapes for the kids' morning snack. They normally will have some type of fruit and we will probably wash these and bring a couple camping. This will be gone before we go camping because they will eat this probably in a couple of days. And before it goes in the fridge, I will make sure it's all cleaned and ready to go and then they can just easily snack on them. Here is the red onion for my pizza prep that I will be doing today and have for the next few days. The garlic powder that I bought from Costco, I don't love the texture of it. It doesn't always mix easily with certain things, especially if, like for instance, the pizza sauce, when I mix it up, it's cold and it doesn't mix properly. So I picked this up for when I want garlic powder in food that is not heated. And then the big one that I got from Costco is fine for like, a big batch of um, pasta sauce or any food that I'm sauteing on the stove. As long as there's heat, the other one seems to mix well, but if it's not, it just kind of clumps together. So I have this as kind of a backup. Couple packages of Alfredo, because like I've mentioned before, my family really loves this. Then just some dentine ice gum that I like to have on hand for myself. These rice cakes are nice little snacks or side lunches with peanut butter on it for the kids. We go through a lot of ranch in this house, so I picked up another one and we'll kind of store that and bring it into rotation when the one in the fridge is running low. Then three boxes of mac and cheese for my husband. Um, when he comes home from work, he will often eat supper and then like a second supper later and so that these are really nice to have on hand. He can just throw those in the microwave. I did buy a second package of wraps. This one only has six in them, but these will we will keep at the house. Then some French vanilla creamer. They only had it in the smaller size or else I would have grabbed the bigger one. Then if you see all of this pasta, it was on sale again and I couldn't help it. I had to stock up on them just because we go through it pretty quickly. We go through one box every maybe week, week and a half. Sometimes we go through it faster, but it stays good for a long time. So when it is on sale, I like to stock up and it's just one less thing that I have to buy later on. So I have three boxes of spaghetti, three boxes of the macaroni, three boxes of the penne, which it, this is what we use for the Alfredo. Rotini. At the back here, I have two cases of Diet Coke. You can see the other one is back there. It was on sale $2 off, so I grabbed two of them. The Choco Chimp cereal, my kids love, and so I give that to them on Saturday mornings as a treat breakfast. And then back there, just two boxes of the stuffed crust cheese pizza that we love to have. And when we have that on hand, we are less likely to order out. So, And that is everything from No Frills.
I don't remember the total offhand. It for sure was over $200. If I remember, I will put the amount in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.